Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Tuesday, January 8th, 2019, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From ZDNet, a team of academics and security researchers published a paper today detailing a new side-channel attack that is effective against operating systems like Windows and Linux. Unlike many previous side-channel attacks, this one doesn't target design flaws in CPUs or other components, but targets the operating system itself, making it hardware agnostic. Link to the full research post from ZDNet. From Bleeping Computer, kitchen utensil manufacturer OXO International disclosed a data breach that spans numerous periods over two years. The breach notification states that customer and payment information may have been exposed between June 9th and November 28th of 2017, June 8th and 9th of 2018, and between July 20th and October 16th of 2018. There is some evidence to suggest that these were, at least in part, a Magikarp attack. From the register, a newly spotted piece of hybrid malware steals copies of victims' files, then encrypts said data and demands a ransom to unscramble it. The malware, named Vidar, combines the GAND Crab ransomware with parts of the Archai data harvesting trojan to create a two-pronged attack. According to Malwarebytes researcher Jerome Segura, the infection has been spreading in the wild via malicious advertising being piped into torrent and video streaming sites. Get the details from the register. From TechCrunch, DiscountMugs.com, an online custom mug and apparel store, had a four-month-long data breach just before the busy holiday shopping season. The company said that hackers siphoned off credit card numbers from customers who made orders through the site between August 5th and November 16th, 2018. The company didn't say how many people were affected by the breach, but it's believed that thousands of customers made purchases through the site during the four-month period. And last today from ZDNet, you know, there are some scumbags that even scumbags don't want to hang out with. So there is a new application of the CryptoMix ransomware, which is a combination of Crypt XXX and CryptoWall. The hackers are grabbing information about children from crowdfunding websites and claiming that payments made in exchange for unlocking your encrypted files will be donated to those kids for medical expenses and presents. In your name, no less. Obviously not the case. If you find yourself hit by this attack, the ZDNet article has a link to a free decryption tool which is available as part of the No More Ransom initiative. And that's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day. And until tomorrow, be safe out there.